Okay, so for lesson 13.2, you're going to be writing numerical expressions. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on some practice problems that you might see on Practice Buddy. This first one says add 64, 94, and 812, and then divide by 27. So you need to know when you're um, writing a numerical expression, um, what to do kind of first and second, okay? So first I'm going to add 64, 94, and 812, and I'm gonna put that into parentheses. And then divide by 27. So that's how you do this first one. Let's try another one. Subtract 87 from the sum of 248 and 6. Okay, so subtract 87 from the sum of 248 and 6. So I need to know that I'm going to add 248 and 6. And then I'm going to subtract 87 from this sum. So I'm going to then subtract 87. Please keep in mind that writing all this down, if you need to pause the video, might be helpful for you. Okay. Moving on to another one. Find eight and four tenths times, keyword, that's a keyword, times the difference between 87 and 19. Now, if you watched the video before this, <clears throat> you learned that the difference meant um, the answer to a subtraction problem. So 87 take away 19 is gonna be my first step. And then I'm going to times eight and four tenths. Okay, so all of these problems, basically you're going to be reading something and you need to figure out how to write the numerical expression. Let's try another one. This one says, <clears throat> multiply one third by four and then multiply that product by 13. So you're going to multiply one third and four. Let me erase this. And then once you find this product, which you'd have to do because in the order of operations, you always do what's in the parentheses first. And then you're going to multiply that product by 13. And again, feel free to pause the videos, write down these uh, examples because they're very similar to the ones that you're about to see on the practice buddy for um, March 31st, lesson 13-2. Okay. This one's a little different. This one says write an expression to show the calculation that can be used to determine the total areas. So here I have two rectangles with the width of 12 and the length of eight for each of them. Now, to find the area of a rectangle, you need to multiply the length, length times width. So that right away. You need to multiply the length times width by one of them, and but there are two of them, so we need to multiply by two. So there's gonna be a very similar problem like this as well. Okay? Um, you might also get a problem that, let me erase. You might also get a problem that looks like this. Let 
and it'll say, what do I do first? What are you supposed to do first? Are you supposed to divide first? Are you supposed to subtract first? Or are you supposed to add first? And since you all know the order of operations, you should know that the first step in doing this is going to be subtracting 109, take away 48. That's the first step, okay? Um, these are very similar, again, to what you'll see on the practice buddy, so make sure you uh, re-watch this if you need any help and reach out to your teacher.